has had to grow up really quick because of what he's been through. Um, I couldn't imagine at the age of 10 being without my dad. Just, I just don't know what goes through his little mind. June 2015 was when I lost my brother Harry's uncle and Harry was absolutely devastated It's such a huge loss and couldn't understand why. And then 10 months later, his dad was diagnosed with cancer and after three weeks of the diagnosis, his dad passed away. And again, Harry was absolutely devastated, another huge loss for him at such a, an early age, he was only 10. So again, he wanted to do something for people living with cancer, try and raise money for them, to help them. So he got involved with Maggie's way, his dad had used Maggie's only twice before he passed away. Yeah, how he wanted to do something different to try and raise money. He didn't just want to do a sponsored walk or a, a sponsored run. When his dad passed away, he'd done the big bean challenge where he sat in a pool of big beans for two hours and he raised over £700 for that. He sat in this pool for, for two hours, absolutely freezing cold, but he wouldn't give in. He wanted to do the two hours. Well, I would like to say that Harry, thank you so much for walking into the centre with his mum and for his mum bringing him in. He's a wonderful young man and I'd like to thank him as the centre head from the bottom of my heart for all the fundraising he does. People don't notice them until it happens to them. So I just want to raise awareness for them. I was just so proud of him. Like everything he had been through and he was putting other people first to try and help other people. I just just so proud of him. And he keeps asking, do you think they're looking down on us? And I'd like to think that they were looking down.